We are remembering a news legend today after the former journalist Charles Osgood has died. His family says that he passed away earlier today at his New Jersey home after battling dementia. That's according to CBS, where he was such a familiar face to so many. He's best remembered as the face of CBS Sunday Morning from 1994 to 2016. He was 91 years old. A look back at his life and his extraordinary career. Sunday Morning has been, without a doubt, the most satisfying 22 years of my life in broadcasting. Charles Osgood anchored CBS Sunday Morning with warmth and wit for more than two decades. I think that CBS Sunday Morning has been successful is because the people who, who watch it don't tune in to see how much you can shock them or distress them, but they tune in to see what would be fascinating, interesting, and possibly even uh, in inspiring, and that's what we try to do. The beloved broadcaster also brought that signature approach to his daily radio commentary, The Osgood File. I never considered myself a television guy who happened to do some radio. I was a radio guy who, who happened to do a television show. Osgood's affinity for radio was clear in his famous sign-off line. As for me, I will see you on the radio. He wasn't averse to rhyming verse and sometimes delivered the Osgood file in that style. It earned him the title of poet in residence at CBS News and exemplified his unorthodox approach to journalism. I never took a broadcasting course or a journalism course when I went to school at Fordham. I majored in economics. So in a way, I've sort of learned on the job. And since I don't know how to do it right, I just do it whatever way I can, <laughs> I, I can think of. His talent for poetry served him well as the narrator of the animated Dr. Seuss film, Horton Hears a Who. The mayor of Whoville, a man named McDodd, was devoted and fair and a little bit odd. Osgood had a gift for music, too. An avid piano player and former classical music DJ, he even co-wrote the Vietnam War era hit, Gallant Men. A distinguished storyteller, his honors included enshrinement in the radio and broadcaster halls of fame, three Peabody Awards, and a Lifetime Achievement Emmy. And in 2016, one of his iconic trademark bow ties became part of the National Museum of American History's permanent collection. Charles Osgood will be remembered for the grace and humanity he brought to his work. I could not ask for anything to have gone differently that was gone in my life, and I don't know what in the world I would rather do than do what I'm doing now. It's been wonderful. So long it's been good to know you, and a long time since I've been home. And I've got to be drifting along. And our condolences to his family. And as he liked to say, we'll see you on the radio.